here's a site not many of us want to see. Snow coming down right now in Fargo, Moorhead, bringing down your visibility and adding up in not only Fargo and other parts of the valley as well. So another snowy one here on this Thursday with more snow chances in the forecast for tonight. So we'll first of all focus on this round. We've got this clipper moving through. It's been moving through since this morning and now currently stretching from Bemidji down through Fargo and into southeastern North Dakota. Grand Forks looks like we're getting a little bit of a break or about to in that area. We'll zoom in where you see these deeper blues. That's where that more steady snow is falling and we just saw that on our sky cam uh, and back over toward just south of Lisbon, the Cheyenne River Valley right there. Uh, we're looking at some heavier snow and this is rolling through Ransom and Sargent County. So Wapato Breckenridge, you haven't seen much of anything just yet. That's heading your way. Same thing for Fergus Falls and Detroit Lakes. This is right on your doorstep right now. So here's a look at our visibility. As you would expect where the snow is falling, it's down. We're at a half mile in Fargo, three quarters of a mile over into the Faustin area. Other places reporting a mile, Bemidji, back over to the airport in Grand forks and your winds not too strong. We do have a couple of speeds in the teens, a gust to 16 miles per hour in Hallock and the wind switching to a more northwesterly direction and that is going to bring about some colder air for us uh, for tonight. Right now not so bad compared to where we've been. We're in the low 20s to low 30s. 21 right now in Fargo and 23 in Grand Forks but Sisseton's at 32 and Gwinter's at 30 degrees. So this afternoon that snow drops to the south and east so as we get into that three, four o'clock hour, it's affecting mainly just lakes country and it's moving on a little bit too at that point in time as well. That's the main band. But into the afternoon, we've got more instability, more chances for snow showers to be triggered in the afternoon hours. And we're looking like that popping up starting in the northern valley and then just kind of trailing southward through the evening. In between these snow showers, we'll hopefully get some sunshine. So little bouts of snow squalls moving through here uh, coming up for the afternoon and nighttime hours tonight. Getting into the late night hours, this starts to shift more into Minnesota. The wind is strong. We're looking at wind gusts into the 30s. So the fresh snow or the currently falling snow will get blown around and maybe bring down your visibility overnight. If you have some overnight travel plans, keep that in mind. And tomorrow morning in its wake, a cold start to the day. Some of us right around zero degrees again to start up in the northwest and over toward the west too. Jamestown only at two at 7 a.m. And the rest of us not much better uh, into that five to 10 degree range to start off the day. So by 9 a.m. we've got that sun up. Some areas where we're getting some sunshine and a few places where we have some lingering clouds. The wind still brisk at that point in time too. So tomorrow a raw day, especially in the morning hours, you'll want to bundle up even more than you may be dressing for today. Now getting into tomorrow night, seeing those temperatures beginning to slide and we're looking at some pretty cold numbers for Saturday morning as well. Maybe some records being broken. So here's a look at our snowfall potential. This is today through tonight and a lot of places may be seeing a dusting but there will be places in addition to what we've seen getting an inch to two inches of snow and over in lakes country uh, maybe a little bit more than that that two plus inch range uh, for us for today ahead for friday again cold but quieter and then saturday more of that same temperature range in fact three degrees on saturday morning would be a record for us in Fargo for a low. Sunday, that next big storm system we've been talking about still showing up in our forecast model. So if you've got some travel plans Sunday, I want to pay attention. Next week, some, some signs, some hints at improvement. Mm -hmm. We've got some 30s ahead and still unsettled, still getting some wintry systems moving through, but I'm hoping we can work our way to some milder temperatures beyond that. I don't mind a little bit of snow as long as our weather temperature wise goes a little bit up. Right. I feel the same way. In fact, I'm ready for the snow to be done too. I want it all out of here and I know a lot of people feel that Spring way. Springtime. I'm waiting for you. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa.